over here. You will check. Pass on your multiple. Hello everyone, in our video today, you're going to see a young girl that, that got healed during Pastor Jerry's ministration at the UK NSPD prayer conference. What that the priest said about the miracle, Pastor Jerry's response and the reactions of the parents. But before then, if you've not subscribed to my channel, click on the red button and the bell button very close to it. It will enable you to get on my video whenever a new video is uploaded. Thank you. Welcome back. Last two weeks, Pastor Jerry held UK NSPPD prayer conference and a lot of things happened. So many people got their healings, but this particular one, a miracle of a little girl of eight that has never worked in her life, that got up from the wheelchair during Pastor Jerry's ministration. This particular miracle did not go well with people like Daddy Freeze. And they called it a staged miracle. Papa, Papa, over here, over here. The wheelchair. Pass on your multiple Papa, over miracles here. over here. Over here, born. she's eight years old, Papa. She was born with cerebral palsy. And Papa, over here. She was in the wheelchair. Look at her wheelchair, Papa. Papa, now look at her. She can walk. Papa, look at her go. She has no. Listen to what Daddy Free said about this miracle. Please call Vina of the Free the Sheeple Movement and leader of the Free Nation in Christ. I greet you and I bring glad tidings. How are you doing? <clears throat> I think I clear my truth. I want to look for small trouble. Your pastors, they leave Kiripu. Where they Niger? They go to the hidden one where they are abroad. When I went down, I greet you now. I don't follow a quarrel. When I greet, I greet you now. But they say charity begins at home. You know, he the ones where they ask first before you go to heal in both ones. Now, question I ask, no need to fight me. Challenge me. If you, if you think say waiting at the top not make sense, if you challenge me. Then you have all sorts of excuses. Yeah, even Christ during his time, he did not heal everybody he came into contact with. Yes, it's true. Christ did not heal any, everybody. The problem is your pastors are not healing anybody. Christ did not heal everybody. Your pastors are not healing anybody. No argue. The people where Christ healed were popular people during his day. Mary and Martha's brother, Lazarus. Everybody know Lazarus. Jarius was not even a Christian. He was a Pharisee. Pharisees, Matthew chapter 23 verse 1, sit in the seat of Moses. What religion do they practice? Judaism, a religion based on the laws of Moses. Christ, he, Jarius, daughter, even though Jarius no be Christian. So Christ, he, Christian people finish, or in followers finish because there were no Christians while he was alive, he go heal other religion. Eh? When I don't heal on our own brother and sister finish, when they follow, when they claim Yahushua, where they heal other people religion. Let's go further. Blind Bartimaeus, everybody know him. So to everybody know him, Papa. Blind Bartimaeus' father was Thaddeus. They know him, they know him, Papa. The people where you they heal, we don't know them, we don't know their Papa. We don't see them for stage. John chapter 14, verse 12. The Bible says, Greater works we shall do. 
All I see today is lesser works and greater cappings. Christ walked on water. We they do prayer work on land. Should we not start the prayer work at the bar beach and end up in the UK? We will not even need visa aeroplane. Just be praying and be walking. Roboto, Rebetes, Carabas, Kerebe, Rasha, Shasha, Shasha, Shasha. Oh, Robe, Bebe, 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 Bebe. Let me tell you. It will be such a wonder that when you show up in the UK, walking all the way from Nigeria over the sea, they don't go asking for visa, they don't go asking for passport. They just know that God is with you. In fact, people will begin to give their life to God in their thousands. Then the next excuses, excuses. Hey, Daddy Freeze, you say uh, uh, greater works. What are the greater works you shall do? Did I ever tell you I can do miracle? I told you I can teach. Not only did I teach, I challenge your pastors to come and either be taught or debate my teachings with me. They're wrong. If I tell you I am a good Formula One driver, not give me basketball, say make I prove, say if he play basketball. I tell you, say if he play basketball. The difference with your pastors is they say they can do miracles. Right now, Mr. Abu is there. Junior Pope is there. Oye Kanweno is there. Let them help us raise them. We miss Mr. Ibu's comedy. Junior Pope left this world too early. Onyeka is Nigeria's most talented singer by a wide margin. We don't need to lose them. Please help us bring them back. And also help us bring Osinachi that also has one of the most angelic voices that used to sing in the choir, praising the Lord with her gift. What reason does she have to buy? Nigerians, make we now wake up. Make we all wake up. I not tell you say if you do miracle. Any day where I tell you say if you do miracle, and I not do the miracle, lock my shirt. I tell you say if you teach, nobody if you debate any of my teachings. They say that if you do miracle, oh yeah. Watch the testimony and the reactions of the girl's parents. She was born with cerebral palsy, and Papa, she was in the wheelchair. Look at her wheelchair, Papa. Papa, now look at her. She can. as a family we have come to give glory to God for what God has done in the life of our daughter our daughter was born with cerebral palsy and um, as a result she had um, delayed de developmental milestones which uh, typically affected her motor skills uh, we joined the NSPPD in 2021 we were trusting God for her miracles and um, this this situation demanded that we do lots of therapy this really affected our finances at some point we just you know gave up because it was too much yeah. we could not um, handle the financial obligation that it required so we decided to relocate to the uk and um, upon coming here to the uk my daughter has been confined to the wheelchair which made her you know, we progressed with the little things she could even do before and um, made her always feel sad and feel bad that she could not she could not play, she could not be with friends, you know, it, it was just a lot that really affected us as a family. So we went for an SPPD UK prayer conference in 2023 in, in Excel, right? Yeah. We went and um, we were believing God for a testimony and um, even though nothing happened there, we still trust God that God, our time will come one day. We can join in the prayer altar, kept praying and trusting God. My daughter never misses the testimony. Like That is usually the time when she's on her way to school. She's always, always she always takes our phones and she's listening to testimony on the road while she's on a wheelchair. So when it was time for a UK prayer conference again in 2024, we were like, okay, we're not going to miss it. And um, we went over and we, as a family, we believed God that even though we wheeled our, our daughter in there on a wheelchair, we're not going to leave there with her 
mm. on the wheelchair. So we're not gonna leave Twickenham Stadium. Twickenham Stadium in the wheelchair. Yes, that mm. was that was our that was our belief, and we you know kept trusting God for it. We went with our kids, went over, and then my daughter joined in the prayer. Mm. Yes. Pastor Jerry, you're really affecting the next generation. She joined in the prayer, and as soon as Pastor Jerry started saying, check yourself, do what you couldn't do before. Mm-hmm. My daughter, the things she found difficult to do, which she could not do, she started doing them. The things that she would do when she would fall, she was doing them without even falling. I was like, okay, wait a minute. Something is happening right here. This is the, this, there is a difference right here. And, um, I remember left to me as a parent, maybe because we are a private family, left to me as a parent, we just mm-hmm. want to like, okay, so thank God for your healing, let's go home. But my mm-hmm. daughter was shouting, mommy, I'm healed, mommy, see me, I can do this, I can do that, and she exactly. kept doing it. And she was shouting, you know, everybody could see her doing it, and you know, we were excited. She was like, I want to give my testimony, mommy, I want to give my testimony, so we took her out. And even the people, <laughs> the people beside us, that sat behind us, were even telling us to go, see, to see, go, see, to see. go. That it's a She's doing it, you know. You know. So there was no way we could hide. So we just literally took her out. She was. Since then, after that time, the thing she found difficult to do. Now she was walking. She was not getting tired. Mm. She literally made her way back home. Without the wheelchair. being on the wheelchair, she was not tired, mommy. I kept asking, are you tired? Are you weak? You know, she kept saying, mommy, I'm healed. Why are you asking me? Mommy, I'm healed. I'm fine, you mm-hmm. know. And the beautiful thing is that she's been even, even challenging before. our faith. Yeah, so, but after the Twickenham experience, the Twickenham healing, we went back home without her being in the wheelchair. And she walked with us back home. She never got tired. She never got weak. And that's another sign that, you know, that came to us. That made us know that really she has really, really gotten her miracle. Really, yes. She has gotten her healing. You know, and we bless God for what God has done mm-hmm. in the life of our daughter. Today I took her for her physio again. And um, I remember they were just making comments like, oh, wow, she did this beautifully well. Oh, wow, she did this fine. That That's good, you know. And we believe God that God who has begun this will definitely okay. complete it. Because mm-hmm. I our child, Pastor Jerry, won't say don't stop. Don't stop. Not necessarily because of us, but I'm seeing the impact it's having on my daughter and even other children. And my daughter was saying stuff like uh, when I was taking her for the physiotherapy today, she told me some private things that she wanted to do. Do you want to share? I want to let everyone know that everyone that is on the video of coaches can get healed and know that when God is doing you good and every time uh, if I see some more people on meetings or coaches and I'm going to pray for them no matter what to help them get healed so that more and more can believe in God and that way everyone that was healed will tell everyone else to join so that a lot of people can worship the God. Papa, we they pray. <laughs> it is true. Sure. This one no be bobo. Nobody bobo us. It happened life in Twickenham. And today we have we have our evidence. Our daughter has become far, far much more better than what she used to be before. What God cannot do does not exist. Thank you. And that's me. According to Pastor Jerry, he's too busy to reply anybody. Of God, the answer we have to a generation yes, sir. is evidence. Yes, sir. No yes, talking sir. too much. Evidence. No answering anybody. Evidence. No coming to go evidence. back and forth. Evidence. No, 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 no. Listen, NSPPDS, you will never see this man here reply anybody. Yes, sir. I don't have that kind of time. 
I don't have time. I don't have time. There are more important things to do for God. People of God, people, look at the arranged miracle. No, she was never on a wheelchair. Look at the parents saying, she, Kaya Badasa. And SPPDS, wherever you are, help me wave your hands to the doer of this miracle. To the doer of this miracle. To the. What do you think? Drop your comments. Till next time.